Hello, welcome to this first Scratch tutorial. Now, we're going to start off with this simple game here. I've already made some code for you, just there. But don't worry about that now, that's probably going to seem a bit complicated. But by the time you've worked your way through all these tutorials, you're going to understand everything that's happening here. So I'm just going to move that out of the way, you don't need to worry about that. But let's have a look at what's happening. So this is the game window. We've got our fish just there. And up here we've got the green flag. And we press the green flag to start the game running. And we've got a rock falling down. And it's landing on our fish. Let's press the green flag, see that again. We'll see the fish comes back. We've got a rock falling down. And it's landing on our fish again. So what we want to do here is we want, want to move the fish out the way. So if I press the green flag, now I'm, I'm pressing the keys on the keyboard, and no, nope, nothing's happening. My fish is not moving. So our first job is going to be able to save the fish by coding it, by coding it so it can move out the way. So I just start that again. I'm going to press stop uh, to stop the rock falling. OK, so how do we do that? Over here, these are all our code blocks and over time you're going to come to learn what what all of these mean but at the moment we're going to start off with events and one of the most common things you need to do if you're making a game is to move your character about so to do that we're going to use this block at the moment it says when space key pressed if I click that that arrow there we get a whole list of keys on the keyboard and we get these ones that I want to use now the up arrow, the down arrow, right arrow, left arrow so we want it to move out the way, I want it to move to the right so I'm just going to select that so it says when right arrow key pressed now it's not going to work here I need to drag it across over to this window and this is where we need to put all of our code when we want to use it. You can see I showed you the code from before so this code is running but I'll just move that out of the way and we're going to work on this. Now it says when right arrow key pressed so it's the start of a sentence but we need to finish this sentence. Okay so we've got when right arrow key pressed now I'm pressing the right arrow but nothing's happening that's because my sentence isn't really finished I need it to move. Now over here, motion, that's the one we want. Motion is to do with moving. So I want it to move out the way. And I'm going to choose this one, change, change x. Now if you've learned about graphs in maths, then hopefully you should know x and y. So x is to do with anything that's left, left and right and y is up and down. We can actually see down here we've got an x and a y. At the moment that's showing you where my mouse pointer is. So if I move across to the right you can say that see those x numbers are changing. If I move left the x numbers are changing. If I move up y is changing. So because I want to move right I want to change x by 10. So I'm going to press the right arrow key and yes we've got something happening. Our fish is moving. Let's, let's press the green flag and now that rock is coming down and this time ah, I can move out the way by pressing the right arrow key. But oh, this time I've been hit again. So this new code, this has worked. When right arrow key pressed, change x by 10. That means I move 10 steps on X, 10 steps to the right. Now I can, uh, whoops, just deleted that and get that back. We can change this number, 10. Let's uh, change it to 1. Press the green flag, get the game going again. And this time, did you see that? The fish was moving, but very slowly. It's only moving one step at a time. And that's, that's not fast enough to move out of the way. So... 10 is probably good. Now you can experiment with other numbers. Try bigger numbers, see what happens. So fine, I'm moving right. It would be really good to be able to move left. So let's go back to events. 
and take this one. I'm going to bring it over here. Now I can also change the key when it's over here. So here I'm going to choose left arrow. And again, under motion, motion is about moving. Again, I want to change X. So there we go. Now, if I run, I'm pressing the left key. I'm pressing the left key. The fish is moving, but the fish is moving. It's also moving to the right. So that's a bit of a problem. Now we can see that's because we've got exactly the same code here. Change X by 10, change X by 10. I want to move left. Now moving left, that's actually going back 10 or taking away 10. Let's just have a look now. Now I can move left and I can move right. So moving left, I need to use negative 10 or minus 10. Excellent, so I can move left and I can move right. Now, what about up and down? Well, I need another one of these keys under events. So when space key pressed, but not space, I want to move, move up. Now we said earlier, anything about up and down, up and down is Y. So let's go back to motion, and this time I want to change Y by 10. Let's test by pressing the up arrow, and there I go. And finally, I want to move down. So let's go back to events, same code block again, and I'm going to click and select down arrow, and back to motion, and I still want to change Y, and just like we did when we moved left, I don't want to just move by 10, but I want to come back 10, down 10, negative 10. And let's have a look. Yep, fish can move down, can move left, up, and right. Let's uh, just press run. So if I've got this rock coming, this time I can move out the way to the left. Uh, I can move up and down. That probably doesn't help too much in this game. And, oh, it still hit me. Let's have another go. Wait for the rock. And there it is. And oh, I'll quickly move out the way. And oh, move back out the way. And excellent. Great. So with this code, I'm now able to save my fish so that it doesn't get hit by the rock. Okay, let's look once more. So I used events and when space key pressed but change that space to one of these arrows and we've got when right arrow key pressed and I'm changing X. Remember X is anything to do with moving left and right. Then when I move left I want to change the X by minus 10. Minus 10 to go back. Then up, so up and down. Up and down is Y. So when I'm moving up, I'm changing Y by 10. And when I'm coming back down, it's negative 10. Now these four, four blocks of code here are going to be really, really useful when you're making games. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned something. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.